going to do my running stabilization test. But I have to have the cell phone on me, so I'm going to try not to run too fast. Hey there internet, so today I'm going to be doing a test of the GoPro Fusion versus the Garmin Verb. I have both these cameras right now on a locked off tripod, so wherever I move they're both going to see each other. I also have other footage where I kind of like simulate similar shots, but I specifically bought this piece so I can do a little walk and talk review with both these cameras. You'll notice that they're a little off in terms of the height but otherwise they are completely as close as you can get. Um, I left a little bit of distance for stitching with them, but uh, you can see here we're getting direct sunlight. They're both at ISO 1600. I am walking to drop a letter off in the mailbox. And so I figured this would be a good opportunity to test this camera. Uh, I'm hoping also to take this and do a time lapse in the sunset. I don't know if I'm gonna have quite enough time today, but we'll try. We'll give it a shot. So for both of these tests today, I'm going to be stitching the footage in their native stitching software. So for the Garmin, it's Garmin's free stitching software. For GoPro, it's GoPro's free stitching software. There's no cheating in doing it this way. Um, there's also a lot of other stitching software where you can probably make the shots look a lot better. So just be aware, Mystica, Color, these are both options for if you want to stitch these cameras and make the stitching a little bit nicer. I'm mainly testing it out for stabilization and to see how good it looks. The Garmin is shooting in 5K res, the GoPro is shooting in 5.2K. I could set the Garmin to 5.7K, but then I need to have my cell phone turn to it with Wi-Fi and I feel like that's cheating. You can also hear the audio. Both these cameras have four mics in them, so they record 360 audio if you'd like 360 audio. In this case, I'm just recording stereo audio. <laughs> Tons of people are like pausing as I'm walking down the street with this rig. It does look pretty ridiculous. How's it going? Good, Kevo. It's going pretty good. Just testing out the new GoPro Fusion camera with the Garmin. Do you know where the nearest... Uh... I'll take it for you. You will? Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. I think it was just a block down, but I always get a little confused around here. Nah, don't worry about it. I got you, man. Every Thank time. you so much. You're the best. Yes, sir. Have I got a... some more stuff for you, so I'm going to drop it off for you. Uh, drop it off. Cool. I'm heading back there right now. Berkeley man, everybody's just so chill all the time. Um, so anyway, you can see here how the camera does. I'm gonna try a shot where I'm running a little bit faster maybe. Let's see how it's doing. I'm running a little bit faster. How does it handle those bumps across the street? I accidentally erased my Garmin waterproof footage, so here's the Garmin waterproof test, and you can compare this with the GoPro. Just use your imagination. Alright, so there you go. You can hear the audio afterwards. is isn't great, but the camera works. It's still recording, so yeah. So let's see. Alright, here we go. It's about to get wet. So earlier I was doing my water test and I didn't format the cards in this GoPro properly because I have two of them and it's just been crazy. And so I thought that the GoPro Fusion wasn't working in the water. It actually works fine in the water. 
but it's not the same shot as what I did earlier with the Garmin. So just, you know, use your imagination. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, write a comment below if you have any questions about this video or these cameras. I'm also gonna include a link in the description below to the Garmin. I think the Garmin has some benefits in the fact that it can go fully submerged underwater, whereas the GoPro, I feel less confident about putting underwater. If that is a major factor for you, let me know.